Heather's idea was that everything would emerge, everything would kind of be somewhat spontaneous and it all kind of comes together at an end kind of crescendo and as a scientist that's really difficult. As an artist I'm interested in collective behaviour, so I wanted the creative process to be a collective experiment in itself. It pushed my limits and my, the way I see the world, I would say. If you just operate within a monodisciplinary world where you just you do things because that's the way that you do them and that's your habit, you don't question what you're doing. As soon as you step outside of that, you have things challenged. I think there are certain kinds of questions that cannot be answered, just cannot be answered from any one discipline. It got a bit messy. In, a, in an interesting way. We went out and played and talked to each other with the idea that we would also involve the public in that experimentation. The minute you expose an idea that you come up with and you expose it to the general public, it tends to evolve very rapidly into unexpected forms. And we definitely experienced that when running our games and experiments. Crowd Control is a public participatory research residency. Crowd Control is a way of looking at collective dynamics. Crowd control is whatever each agent or individual in the system makes of it. Crowd control is testing your own reaction to control, is pushing boundaries, resisting, playing along, teasing the controller or becoming the controller. Crowd control is an exploration into the control mechanisms that affect group behaviour. Crowd control is a mess of interactions of people. Crowd control is about not being in control of your own body, of having your body controlled by others. Crowd control is a series of games and experiments that explore how individuals operate within groups. Crowd control is an experience. Crowd control is really out of control.